Singapore. Here, vertical farms are not a question, rather an answer. Stuck between the giants of Indonesia and Malaysia, this island state covers a surface area that is scarcely larger than the Bay of Mont Saint-Michel. To feed over 5 million inhabitants, the island can only spare 2% of its territory for agriculture, and virtually all foodstuffs are imported from abroad. You know, Singapore is a very small country. We don't have a lot of land for farming. If I have to import vegetables from the neighborhood country, say, for example, from Malaysia, you will take about 24 hours. You go to Thailand, you take three days. You go to Indonesia sometime, you take one week. So imagine on, of highly perishable products like vegetable. You know, importing vegetable from overseas, sometimes it can be a challenge to us. In the city state like Singapore, I think we don't have farmland like in France or in America or in Europe. So I think the only way is actually look at high-tech way of farming method. Using very little land, but you are able to achieve a higher yield of production. Reconciling economic development with sustainable development here isn't a question of principle, rather one of survival. Encouraged by a particularly dynamic Ministry of Agriculture, today's young entrepreneurs are gambling on intensive methods whilst economizing on the island's scarcest resource, space. We just planted this about a week ago. The growth rate is quite phenomenal. What is the footprint that you're taking up in an in a A-frame like that? I think this is uh, six meters by, I think, one and a half. So how many plants are in a frame like that? Can, can you grow? When space on the ground is limited, people start to look up and yields take off. For now, the clientele is limited to top-of-the-range restaurants and the experiment is on a very small scale. But the authorities want to take it further. Agrarian farming has been in Singapore since the 1980s, where AVA spearheaded the movement to agrotechnology, um, where modern science and technology is used to develop the vertical system that is able to produce more with less land and water. While imported products are regarded with a great deal of suspicion, local products are obviously fresh, healthy and safe. We start selling sky green vegetables since April 2012. That was almost two years ago. And we were the first that vegetable has been selling well and we have been achieving double GD growth month on month. So the response has been good. In actual fact, the farm producer actually, they couldn't cope up with our demand. So now they have in the process of increasing more tower so they can supply more vegetable to our store. They can actually increase the production according to our needs and we can get it within six hours. We can talk to them and say, look, I need more vegetable. They can respond faster versus then I have to import from Bosi. The demand is there, the technology is available, and vertical farming is starting to prove its economic efficiency in Singapore.